welcome back guys, it's Levin from BrainDesk.com. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna talk about uh, Arduino libraries, uh, how they work, how to install them. Um, and I know that most of you, or maybe some of you know already this, uh, this stuff, uh, but a lot of people don't. And I get a lot of questions sometimes on how to install uh, libraries, uh, where to get them from. And uh, sometimes people don't install them properly and then they go to compile their code and it gives them errors. So I thought I would make a video uh, to uh, teach people how, uh, what is a library, how to install them, and that way when they reach our YouTube channel, uh, they can look at that video and uh, get some information. So if you guys know this already, maybe you can skip this one and wait for the next one. In the next one, we're actually gonna create uh, a library of our own. Uh, so you see the structure of a library, how they work. Uh, that video should be coming up uh, probably next week because it's kind of like the same thing I'm doing now. So I'm just going to continue that. Uh, so that's it. That's it for today. So let's go. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go through all the steps and then we'll come back and wrap things up. So let's go check it out. All right, so let's start. Uh, I'm going to show you three ways to install libraries. Uh, there is the manual way, uh, semi-manual, uh, like semi-automatic and then you have the fully automatic. Uh, so we're gonna start with um, installing it all by yourself. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is to go to a website that has a library available, and this one is the Arduino new ping library. And as you can see at the bottom here, we have two version of the library, so we're gonna pick the most recent one. We're gonna click on it, and there you go, it's downloaded. So now I'm gonna go up here, and this is what you download. You download the .zip file, you can see there's a little zipper here, and what you want to do is right click on that, extract all to the same location, and then you will end up with this. So the same, same folder, but without the zipper. So this is the extracted file. Now you want to double click on that, and as you can see, there is a nested folder in there, and inside that folder are the library files. Um, all libraries need at least two files. Uh, the .h file, which is the header file, uh, that one contains the commands available and variables used in the library. And then you have the source code, the CPP file, and that contains all the code that does all the work. Uh, so you need to make sure that you have at least these two files. Uh, some um, libraries have more than two files, uh, but this one, uh, you need at least two for it to be, uh, to be working. And some have examples, uh, sketches included in them. Uh, so we're gonna go back to our new ping um, folder, and I just wanna show you my Arduino IDE is open right now. Okay, so I just want to uh, point that out because you'll see when we install uh, what happens if it is open. So let me go back here. So we got our new ping library right there. So I'm gonna navigate to the Arduino library folder. So most of the time when you install it without changing the, the location, it will reside here. So C, program file x86, Arduino, and libraries. So this is the library folder. As you can see right now, I don't have the new ping. I just uh, removed it from there. Uh, so these are all the libraries I have available. Now, you could do it in two ways. You could just click and drag the new one. Make sure you're not dropping it on a folder. So you could go here. That way you're dropping it there. Or you could right-click, copy right here, and right-click, paste right there. So all we're going to do now, we're just going to drag and drop. So again, make sure you're not dropping it inside another folder. So let's go to the right, move to libraries, drop it there, continue that. Yes, it's fine. And there we go. New ping library is now in the Arduino library folder. Now, if I go to my Arduino IDE, which was open, and I'm sure you guys know this, uh, you go under sketch, include library, and then you go down to the contributed libraries, which are the libraries I have installed, you will see that it's not there because it was open. The way it works, Arduino scans, uh, the Arduino IDE scans the folder at startup and populates this list. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna quit that, we're gonna exit and start it again. And there we go, we just started it again. So under sketch, include the libraries, we're gonna go down here, recommended, uh, and there it is. So now it is available for use. So that's the manual way, works fine, very easy to do. Now we're gonna look at another way. All right, so the second way will be like semi-automatic. We still need to download our zip file right here, as you can see. 
And we have our Arduino library folder open here, which doesn't contain the new ping library, I uninstalled it. So the way you do this, you go directly to your Arduino IDE and you go to sketch, include library, and let me go to the top here, and you go to add.zip library. So you click here, and then it's gonna ask you, where is that library? In, in my case, I put it on the desktop under temp, and there it is. Now, this is the extracted one. I don't wanna choose that one, I wanna choose the .zip one. So I'm gonna click on it, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna say open, and that's it. The library was added to your libraries, check the include library. So technically, it's already ready for use. I didn't have to restart. So I'm gonna go down to include libraries, recommended, and there it is. So when you do it this way, you don't have to restart the Arduino IDE, you don't have to uh, look around uh, to uh, drag and drop, copy paste. This is, the, this is the, uh, the way I do it most of the time. This is the one I like, it's very fast and it's readily available. But there's one little thing you need to know. I'm gonna go back here. Now if you look at the, the path that we used before, the program file 86 Arduino libraries, we put the new ping folder in there last time. But now it's not here. And I did refresh this folder and everything. The thing is when you use the semi-automatic way, it puts the library in a different place. And I'm gonna show you where it is. It's right here. It puts it on the local disk, users, the user name you're logged into, this will be different for uh, each one of you, documents, Arduino, libraries, and there it is. So it's good to know because if you wanna uninstall a library, let's say it's conflicting with another one, then you, if you wanna uninstall a library, you just remove the folder, you delete it from the uh, Arduino library folder. But in, if you use the semi-automatic way, then you need to go to this folder, click, delete, like that, and it's gone. So that's a, that's a great way to do it because it's fast. And if you know where it puts the file, then you can uninstall it fairly easily too. So now let's look at the third way and the, the final way. Okay, so the final way of doing it is letting the Arduino search for the library and actually install it and do everything. Uh, so you, to do this, you go into your sketch, include library, manage libraries, and then you meet it with this library manager window. Now, as you can see here, there's a search box. So I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna type one that I know, and that you guys should know, because we used it quite a bit, the Excel Stepper Library. And then right away, it populates it with Excel Stepper by Mike McCauley, which is the right one. And then you click on More Info here, and you have a choice of versions that are available. Choose one or the other, let's say 1.5, the last one. Click Install, and that's it. It's installed right now. So you might ask, well, why don't I use this for everything? Well, the thing is, the library manager, if you do it like, like this, you will not find more obscure libraries. Uh, so the new ping library on this, I'm not sure if it's there actually, new ping. Yeah, you see new ping doesn't come up at all. And if I put a space, no, there's nothing. Uh, so for very popular libraries, um, you will find them here. Like a cell stepper is very popular, so of course it's in here. Uh, but if it's more an obscure one or a less used one or a less known one, uh, then you'll have to use uh, method one or two, so the manual way or the semi-automatic way. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that helped uh, some of you. I just wanted to make a video to explain the basic things, uh, the basic stuff about installing libraries in Arduino IDE and uh, make it available on our YouTube channel. So let's go back to the main camera and wrap things up. All right, so there you go, guys. A quick introduction on Arduino libraries, uh, what they are, how they work, and I showed you three ways to install them. Uh, the manual way, uh, the semi-manual way, and the fully automatic way. Uh, so it's good to know uh, all these ways because sometimes the fully automatic doesn't find everything uh, because the library, if the library isn't popular, it will not be in that list. Uh, so then getting it from GitHub or the uh, creator's website as a zip file, then you can install it uh, yourself. Uh, so that'll do it for today, guys. On a side note, I want to announce that we launched our new website at brainybits.com. Uh, after two years, before we're using uh, WordPress and WooCommerce, and uh, after two years it was getting very slow. And uh, WordPress is great, uh, but at some point you have to upgrade all the plugins, and there's a lot of upgrading to do, and sometimes that can break your site if you do any customization. 
so it was kind of hard to keep track of all that stuff. Uh, so now we moved everything to Shopify. And it wasn't easy because it's not, a, it's not like you just take your site from WordPress and put it on uh, Shopify and it works right away. Uh, there was a lot of customization to do and stuff like that. But at least with Shopify, they take care of all the security uh, stuff, backend, uh, uh, SSLs and uh, all that the cool stuff. And I don't have a lot of time to spend on that stuff. So basically now I can just concentrate on making content uh, for you guys and getting new products and stuff like that. So I invite you guys to go check out the site. It's super fast compared to, uh, to the uh, old one. We still have the forum there. If you have any questions, visit us there and you can ask questions about our tutorials or if you're doing any cool project, you can share it with us there also. Uh, so I don't wanna take too much time, so we're gonna wrap it up now. And uh, maybe uh, next week, I guess, we're gonna have a new tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to create an actual library. So that should be fun. So thanks a lot for uh, watching, guys. As always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.